This morning, we have a first look at a new Dateline podcast. It comes out today and is already number one on Apple's podcast charts. Well, of course it is. Mommy Doomsday dives into the story of Lori Vallow Daybell and her husband, Chad. Dayline started following their case more than a year ago when the disappearance of Lori's children made headlines around the world. We're going to talk to Keith Morrison in just a moment about the new podcast. But first, here's a preview. Who's heading out today? Hello, no comments. Where are your kids? Here they were. We tracked them down. The honeymooners, Chad and Lori, dressed for the beach in sunny Kauai. New details continue to come to light in the case of two missing children. A bizarre mystery in Idaho where a frantic search is on for two missing siblings. By this moment, a year ago, word was spreading about Lori's missing children, 17-year-old Tylee and 7-year-old JJ. Are your children still alive? But they ignored Simple the question, question. and then ignored a court order to produce the children. Welcome back, Lori. Where are your kids? Lori was arrested, flown back to Rexburg, Idaho, to face charges of child abandonment and contempt of court. And by then, millions knew about Tylee and JJ. The latest chapter in this Dateline like mystery. And as we looked deeper, the story got so much, well, weirder. Two missing children, one dead brother, three dead spouses. We want people to know that she was an amazing, brilliant person that uh, died too soon. Exhumations, quickie marriages, burner phones, bizarre beliefs, like humans becoming something else. So he became a zombie the day before I arrived. Then, eight months ago, early June. Police found what they believe to be human remains For months, we'd been asking, where are the children? And here they were all along, buried in Chad's backyard. How could you walk outside every single day and see the spot knowing that there are children buried underneath that dirt? Chad and Lori have pleaded not guilty to charges of concealing or destroying evidence. Neither has been charged with murder. She's destroyed so many people's lives and she's blown up their world. Mm. Keith Morrison, good morning to you, sir. Always good to have you. Um, it's a wildly popular a sunny topic on a Tuesday morning. Oh, well, it? yeah. it's, but, you know, it's 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 a wildly popular podcast. What are we going to learn you know, from this one, Keith, that's, that's new about the investigation? Well, the investigation has been going on and still going on up to this moment and, and will continue. Um, we thought this was a good time to step in with the podcast because we have learned a great deal over the last year. You know, the basic facts laid out there in that little spot um, tell you essentially what the what the story kind of is at this point. But, um, you know, when you when you when you poke a story and you dig in a little deeper, you discover that nothing falls fully made out of the sky. Mm. There are so many curious um, backstory details that we were able to uh pry out that are absolutely fascinating Mm. and tell you something about, you know, human nature and um, uh, bizarre beliefs and how they get to be that way. It's crazy. We we should note Dateline reached out to the Daybell's attorneys and received no comment. Uh, Keith, this is your second original true crime podcast. Your first podcast, The Thing About Pam, has been downloaded Mm -hmm. more than 14 million times since Mm -hmm. its 2019 launch. I just found out Renee Zellweger has just signed on to star and executive news a limited TV series based on the podcast. So, of course, a lot of us mm-hmm. are saying, well, who's going to play you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they need somebody to play me. <laughs> but uh, we're all very excited about Renee Delweger. That's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Al? That's really great. And, and for those folks who can't I'm not get sure I see the uh, similarity, frankly. Peacock. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, part of our... Part of our parent company, NBC Universal, uh, just launched a Dateline 24-7 channel on their streaming service. Now, you've been with Dateline for 25 years. Uh, did, did you mm-hmm. ever? And, and I've seen you guys at, at, at these crime conventions. The lines go out the door waiting to meet you and your, your Dateline compadres. Mm-hmm. Did you ever think that you, you guys would be, like, revered as these cr- true crime stars? Not in a million years. Uh, and remember, Dateline wasn't a crime show when yeah. we uh, started, like, 
before the turn of the millennium, we, we did largely non-crime stories. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and so a lot of us had to be kind of persuaded that this was a good idea to do them. But the fact is that this provides a window into human nature, these kinds of stories, unlike anything I've ever encountered before. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's a little troubling when you start, but, but when you dig in, it's, it's, um, it's remarkable. Yeah. yeah. So. Keith Morrison, always good to have you. Thanks for waking up early, buddy. Uh, and folks, Thank you. don't forget, you can listen to the first two episodes of Mommy Doomsday, available now, wherever you get your podcasts. Mm -hmm. People also want justice. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.